Well, good afternoon and welcome back to the workshop. I figure it's about time that I dust everything off and get machining again. In this video, I'm going to be machining the spacer jig for my frames so I can spot through the holes on the bogey bolster and also check the rest of the machining that's uh, parallel and perpendicular. So the first thing to do was to uh, cut this nice piece of steel and I use my little hexacut bandsaw to do that. Mechanical donkey saw. Um, now let's go over to the lathe and uh, get this machine done. Right, I've got this fairly large bar in the three joy chuck of the Myford. Uh, I've got the dial indicator on here and dialing it in, it, there's a bit of bumping around because it's not, not perfectly smooth surface, um, but it's within a thou or so, so I'm pretty happy with that. saw that I saw that too that uh, jumped over the nib and now it's pushed this out of concentric so we have to set that up again that's annoying yeah I'm pretty happy with that it's not perfect but we're within you know, a foul of where we were or so Okay, so that's done. I'm going to deburr it, uh, flip it over and do the same thing on the other side. I need to shorten it down to length as well, but it'll just be turning the end. Right, this is my setup. I, I managed to get a center in here and uh, the end faced off and the center in here, but I had to remove so much material. I just cut through it with the hacksaw, which then gave me another rough face. So then I had to start doing this. And I realized, like I said, I had this bloody fixed steady that I've, uh, I've had for ages and never ever used. So I thought, hey, here's a, here's a perfect opportunity to do it. Okay, here we have the frames laid out on my workbench. It's not flat, so you might hear a bit of rocking, but that's just what that is. Um, the spacer is in there, and I can put the bogey bolster in on top. That works out nicely. And now the main issue is to ensure that these horns are uh, perpendicular to the frames and that they are straight. Um, they are about um, 1,270 thou in width. So they're 20 thou over the one and a quarter inches they're meant to be. This is about five thou over the uh, one and a quarter inches it's meant to be. And you can see it's a nice fit going straight through. No problems there, no problems there. I've also used some bits of shim. So I think these are between uh, six and eight thou and I can put them around the bar and the bar still, I might go in diagonally of course, um, still fits in. And, and it can move. So what I'm about to do as part of the next job is to transfer punch in the holes here and on this side into this bogey bolster. Uh, but before I do, I just wanted to check with the, uh, the, the, the wonderful and amazing wisdom of everyone who's looking at my channel in case I've overlooked something. Because so far, it seems like it's, it's working okay. Um, can you let me know? And uh, hopefully I'll see you next time.